Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today the topic is a uh, all levels uh, speed time grant and distance time grant. Okay, it help us in grade eight, nine, and ten all levels pattern. Okay, situation we have here. Basically, we have a two formulas here, and it has one formula only here. One is first rule rules we have here. Rule number one. Okay, so that number one gradient of the line gradient. Uh, is equal to acceleration. Okay, so gradient of line represent acceleration, and rule number two, uh, the area under lines area represent distance covered, distance traveled, distance covered or traveled. Okay. And here we have one rule only, and the rule here only one is here, and that is the here gradient represent gradient represent speed. Okay, so this only one rule we have here, and we have two rules. So let's follow the plan how we can get it. Okay. First acceleration. So he's asking acceleration. So you know it is, and all of you know uh, we have an idea. So all those lines this way they have positive gradient, okay, and this way negative gradient. And positive is called acceleration, and negative is called deceleration. So I can see that this line is parallel here. See, see. So this acceleration, and this line is parallel here. So it means deceleration, okay. So we need acceleration, so let's find this. So what are the coordinates here? At this point, x is two, y is 10. And this point, x is zero, y is zero. So let's find the gradient, and all of you know, m is equal to y two minus y one, or x two minus x one. So uh, y two is this one, y one is this, so 10 minus zero, over x2 minus x1 so I get 5 meter per second square is acceleration so I got the acceleration easily in similar manner if I'm, I'm looking for deceleration so part B here so gradient formula all of you know y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so uh, deceleration you know this coordinate is 10 x is 10, y is 10. And here, x is 12, y is zero. So we're gonna start anywhere. So let's start from here. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay. I am getting minus 10 by two, so it means I got a negative five. So negative five is an acceleration but if we ask deceleration word, so you should not write the sign here. So deceleration uh, is equal to five meter per second square. Okay, if, if you write minus five, also correct. But when you write the word deceleration, you are bound to remove the sign. And I discussed with you the distance is what area. So distance, total distance, so trapezium area. And you know that when we have a trapezium, so this and this and this. This is called A, this is called B, and the gap between them is called H. So this is called A. This gap is 10 minus to eight. So distance traveled half into height into A plus B. This is my formula of trapezium. And height you can find, and look, this is this is a parallel to it, so they are parallel. This is called A, which is a 10 minus 2, so this is 10 minus is 8. From here to here is 8. And from here to here is 12, this is called B. And the height between them, this is gap between is 10. So 10 is the height. Okay, so this is a 20, and the two uh, 20, uh, we got our this. So it's 100 is answered because 10 is 100 meter distance total travel. So it's very, very clear. Come on this question, we have a speed while going office. For example, here home and here we have, let's say office. Okay, office here. 
and let's see how we can find I said that gradient is equal to speed so let's find a part a part is a gradient so gradient formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so let's label it here at this point x is 2 y is 6 here x is 0 y is 0 okay so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so apply 6 minus 0 over 2 minus 0 we got 3 meter per second speed so i got a speed here very very clear while going away from with good office okay let's go b part is coming back so this is a coming back how i know first is going away speed is uh, this way is, is going away and it's this this is a pause how much 10 minus to 8 hours he stay in office this is a 8 hours 8 hours stay in office and this is coming back so again same formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so again i can apply at this point x is 10 y is 6 at this point x is 11 y is 0 okay so let's apply formula and uh, y, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 i got 6 by minus 1 so minus 6 so uh, it's called speed and you know negative is not no need okay it's for direction only and answer is coming here speed is equal to 6 meter per second okay this is for sake of knowledge uh, speed is positive he's going away from home because observer is here observer going away from observer speed is positive coming back to observer speed is negative that is why it's negative means he is coming back to home so let's say observer is at home so this is negative no concern here so find out the average speed formula of you know it average speed formula is total distance total distance by total time so total distance by total time okay and total distance is a y going forward six kilometers and while coming back six so six and six so 12 so six plus six 12 and and total distance time is 11 so 11 hours so 12 by 11 you can find 11.0 something okay meter per second sorry this is speed because average speed so this is our answer average speed okay so that's it and the question is over and idea is i think clear to you and we have a two rules and three third one rules there only okay